What's up everyone, Steven here with Neural DSP and today I'm back with another Minute Mix Monday and today I wanna to talk to you about how you can conserve your CPU power. Now I'll be demonstrating these things in Pro Tools but generally most DAWs have similar functions you can use. This is the session that I worked on for the last four styles of metal video. And in this session, I have almost a dozen instances of archetype Nolly. I have two synth tracks. I have two sample tracks. I have submission bass and my drums going through contact. And I have my mastering chain active. Now I have a pretty powerful PC with an i9 processor and plenty of RAM to spare, but even I have to do a couple of things to ensure that my sessions run smoothly. Now, the most common problem that I find people run into is the buffer size. The buffer size is the amount of time it takes for your computer to process an incoming audio signal. So when you're tracking your guitars or your bass, you want the smallest buffer size you can possibly have so that way the latency or audio delay isn't going to be so bad that it messes up your playing. Now this does end up eating up a lot of your CPU power. So when you're done tracking your bass and your guitar, you wanna bump the buffer size up as large as possible so that way it's not going to strain your CPU as much. And another thing that you wanna make sure that you have checked is dynamic plugin processing. And most DAWs will have this feature. When dynamic plugin processing is active, it makes it so that the plugin is only using CPU power to process audio when there are clips being played. So for instance, this plugin is only going to be active during these clips and not during any of this silence. And this is a good reason to strip silence or keep your tracks clean, because if you have even a clip that doesn't have any audio in it, that's still gonna tell your plugin that it needs to be processing the incoming signal. So the next option available to us is freezing tracks. So what this does is it temporarily renders our audio with the plugin settings that we have. So you end up with the audio, but not have the CPU drainage because of so many plugins that are open. Because recording guitar and bass can be kind of CPU heavy due to the lower buffer size, I try to aggressively freeze as many tracks as possible, including my synths and my drums. So if I look at my CPU usage before freezing my tracks, I'm floating around 20, 25, maybe bumping up to 30% here or there. But after I freeze my tracks, so now when I look at my CPU usage, I'm bouncing around 15% and I'm pretty ready to go ahead and start recording. Next up on our list is bus processing. So normally when we're talking about bus processing, we're talking about summing up a bunch of different tracks to a singular stereo channel. From there, we can make all of our EQ and compression moves and affect the entirety of the bunch. But you can actually cut your archetype nolly usage in about half if you put archetype nolly on your bus and send a left and right DI signal to that bus. So I have two guitar tracks here, which both have the archetype nolly on them, and I have them bus to the BFR bus up here. Now, I duplicated those tracks out here and then routed them to an additional bus here with the BFR aux. This is also going to our top BFR bus up here. Now, what you do is you click on an insert, you go to multi mono plugin, harmonic archetype nolly. And what I did is I control shift C to copy my settings from one plugin, go to my next, control shift V or I could just load up my BFR Rift Division preset. And that's pretty close. The only thing that I can really detect is a small bump in volume from the bus version of the Archetype Nolly. But as far as dialing in tones and conserving your CPU, this is a great strategy just so you can get things in the ballpark before you move the plugin to their individual channels and really start mixing. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for notifications and comment down below and let me know if you like this content and if you wanna see more like it. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.